Hello YouTube, this is a um, video tutorial on how to um, install Windows Media Player 6 on Windows 7. Um, first off, what you need to do is um, find out what um, type of operating system you have. Um, I have 64-bit, um, but you might have 32-bit, um, and it's important because you need, you need to know what files to download. Um, so first off, what we need to do is go into the link I posted below, which is um, one of these ones, uh, depending on what uh, version operating system you have. But I have 64-bit, so I use the 64-bit one. And you can open that and go File and press Download. And then I'll wait for that. Um, we we'll also have to download um, the uninstall one for the same operating system. And yeah, I've got 64 bits, so this one again. Um, yeah, once we've got that, we need to download all the Movie Maker files. But um, I cannot get access to those at the moment, so I've already um, installed them, um, downloaded them. But they'll be in the description. Uh, once I've got this video on. So first off what we need to do is extract the files from the Windows Movie Maker folder that I'll put on there. Um, I've already extracted it so I don't need to do that. But what we now need to do is um, move this so you can cut or you just move it. Cut, start, computer, local disk. Now um, depending on what operating system you have um, you'll have you might have program files or program files and um, program files x86. Um, if you have 64 bit, you should have both of them. But if you have 32, you should only have just program files. But if you do have x86, then put it in that. Otherwise, just put it in your program files. So you can just um, paste that there. And then what you need to do is. Um, ex you can exit that now, um, and you need to uh, find your uh, CMD files that you downloaded, the install one, not the uninstall one. And I'm still here. You can. What you need to do is locate that on your computer, um, and right-click on it and press um, Run as administrator. And this may pop up, might not, depending on your computer systems, but if this does, just press yes. And it will say Windows Movie Maker, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, press any key to continue. That means you can press any key apart from enter. And once you do that, this will come up, and it might come up about five more times, and you just press OK every time. And then you can just press any key to continue, like it says. And now you've done that. That will mean that the all the libraries will be there, and that means like all your um, transitions will will be there. I've also included in this um, file the some extra transitions um, that came with a program I downloaded. So now what you need to do, if you want, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it. You can um, make a shortcut on your desktop to where did I put it? So you can get that, and it's this one here when you open it, um, Movie MK, and then you can just double click on that, and it all looks normal like on Vista, and your transitions are all there. If we hadn't done that um, CMD thing, these wouldn't be here, but um, what you can do is, you should prob you probably will know how to make a shortcut, but I'll go for it anyway. So what you can do is you can just right click on this, and go... Um, uh, you can do send to desktop create shortcut and that will work the same way as just opening it how I did and yeah that's all really um, watch my other tutorials I'll probably do some more on Windows Movie Maker on how to do some uh, open other files on Windows Movie Maker and yeah that's all